Hello, Terraria Enthusiasts! My name is James, and welcome back to the Calamity Mod! I'm starting today's episode off in the jungle because I've just found something very strange, and I thought, you know what? I can't not show this on camera. So here we are, just below a bee biome, but have a look at this. So inside of this bee biome is a jungle temple. I have never seen this before, where chests actually overlap with the bee biome. That's so cool! And inside is some feral claws. So to begin today's episode, what I'm actually doing is I'm just going through the jungle, trying to find myself a boomstick, because I do need one, and it would be really awesome to make that gun that I've been talking about for days. So I thought, you know what, while I wait until night time for the Eye of Cthulhu, I'll do some stuff off camera and get everything ready. Let's see. Yes! <laughs> What is it with me and perfect timing? This series is blessed. It truly is blessed. No, wow. Okay. So yeah, I was thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to get ready by getting a boomstick and waiting until night time, but I have to bring it in and show you this. So today's episode might have a few more jump cuts than usual. Uh, I did say I'm trying to keep the jump cuts down, but I've got a little bit of a cold going on today. I don't know. Maybe it's like allergies. I don't know. Either way, I woke up feeling a little bit miserable. So if I do jump cuts, it's only because, you know, whatever, because I'm, I'm doing that. So cool. I also got myself a lava charm. I actually haven't had one of these uh, from a vanilla chest in a very long time. Usually I end up making these or buying these from uh, different, you know, parts of mods and stuff. We got a nature's gift. We actually got quite a bit of stuff just then. Even though I did it all off camera, it was good. Right. I'm happy that I got jester arrows as well because I was kind of sick of crafting them. So let's have a little look at how you actually make this weapon. If I remember correctly... I know I need these two. I also know I need a flare gun, so I've got that. But everything else, I can't remember. Firestorm cannon. There's two of them. So it's made out of... Oh, that's why. So platinum bars. Literally, it's perfect. So I actually have just ten. And you make it at an anvil. Let's see. Have I got enough bars? I actually used some of my bars to make a gold pickaxe. Because it's been a little... Uh, been a little slow with that copper one. I got some comments about that yesterday, pointing out that I haven't actually upgraded it. Very silly of me. So we now have the Frenzying Firestorm Cannon. So I should be able to buy some little uh, flares. Nice. All right, let's buy a whole bunch. 999. Thank you very much. I'll also have to move something. There we go. Right, that's perfect. Let's check it out. Pew, 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 pew. And it also has a single fire mode, which is really cool as well. So, do I need to get the blue ones? I always forget which ones I actually need. Do you need the normal or the blue ones? I think... I think it doesn't really matter, in all honesty. I think I'll be okay. So, what I'm going to do now is, in my little downtime, I'm actually going to go and try and get the Goblin Tinkerer, because we did the Goblin Army event yesterday. So, I'm going to sit around, essentially underground for a little bit, and I'm going to wait around for him. Oh, there he is! There he is! Right, let's go down to him. I tell you what, though, I'm noticing that this uh, Firestorm Cannon is kind of like... I don't know, I feel like it was maybe better at one point, because now it seems like... Well, it doesn't really seem that special. I feel like the throwing weapon that we got is almost uh, almost better, to be honest. So I might actually use the throwing weapon for the Eye of Cthulhu fight, but we'll see how it goes. I mean, I guess it all depends on the fact that you can actually set the enemy on fire using the cannon, and obviously you're not going to get that with the throwing weapon. Cool, bound goblin. Right, let's unbound you. Let's grab some rocket boots. Let's grab a, uh, a tinkerer station, and I'll get on out of there. Cool. Right, so let's have a little look at some accessories now. So I can combine these two to make the spectre boots. Now, I do have an aglet. I'm hoping that I've got the other one as well. So... I've got one of these, but what I really needed is the, the other one. I think you get those from starter chests. And I actually haven't been checking out any starter chests on this world. Huh. Well, let's see how it evolves. So, you combine those to make this, and then it makes this, the lightning boots. So, I need to make that. And then, oh yeah, you make the frostbark boots after that. So, I only need one more accessory. That's not bad. Let's actually uh, check if you can make it. Aglet. Okay, you can. Oh, it's only made out of five iron bars? Sick. Okay. So let's see. 
Five iron bars. I can totally do that. Right, let's make an aglet. And then I also need these two. So I need this. And I need this. Okay, so that's one upgrade. And then two upgrades. Oh, you feel an evil presence watching you. Oh, that's perfect. I actually don't need to... Uh, to summon it now and then let's see what what can you make with this can you make actually do you know what i'm gonna do i think you can combine the the bottle with the balloon right you can combine these two is that correct i can't remember yeah you can okay and then is there anything else i can make right now i don't feel like i can maybe change any of these this is modded let's see what you can combine this with Celestial Jewel. Oh, you need some Astral Jelly for that. So, I'm alright for that. Alright, let's grab my potions real quick. Okay, here it is. Here it is, everyone. Alright, let's zoom this out. Okay. Alright. I don't know if we should use Rage yet, so I might leave Rage for a little bit. Okay, this is going well. I really should have used a Hunter Potion here, though. A uh, Hunter Potion here, though. Oh, this is actually really good. It's good as well, because I feel like that speed upgrade is probably going to win me this fight. Because obviously the Eye of Cthulhu is going to get really fast, and this is even a sped up version of the vanilla fight. Okay, if I don't take any damage for a few more seconds, I should be able to get Adrenaline. Oh my god! Alright, I'm going to use Rage. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, I literally got my full bit of Rage as well, that's perfect. Man, it's kind of hard to see. I, I feel sorry for you guys at home. I feel uh, I feel like I should light it on fire just so you can see it a little bit better. I apologize. The zoom is, uh, it can be pretty taxing sometimes. Let me try and, oh my god, I'm actually doing it. I had to reach over half a hand just to do that. Okay. Yeah, this is going well. I'm really good at I messed up that adrenaline though. I feel like I was literally a second away. Oh, 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 got to go back the other way now. I'm going to use this for a little bit longer as well. Yeah, this might actually be better for a little bit. I don't know. Here we go. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Still going strong. God, it really is faster in this version. Oh, come on. Let's get back up there. Oh, man. Here we go. I can't even see what's going on. I wish I'd brought Hunter. I apologize so much, everybody. This second half is really grueling on the player, honestly. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Managed to avoid it then. I'll tell you what, in these beginning phases, the adrenaline, like, really takes forever to build up. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it, it does take a while. Oh, God, I can't see a thing. Oh no, oh no, no. <laughs> our adrenaline, our beautiful adrenaline. Okay, I think we're gonna do this. I think we're gonna do this. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Alright, 87 left. Let's see if we can do it. Come on. There we go. Bam. Awesome. I apologize for it being so dark though. That is pretty frustrating. Right. Let's see what we got. Let's uh let's zoom on in. There we go. Okay, so we got a Counter Scarf, which is the Calamity version of a Shield of Cthulhu. It's even better though, isn't it? Grants the ability to dash, and dashing into an attack will cause you to dodge it. After a dodge, you'll be granted a buff to melee damage, speed, and critical strike chance. Fantastic. Teardrop Cleaver. Ooh. We also got the Alchemist Charm Tier 1. This is actually really cool. I used to give the Alchemist mod a lot of like flack for adding in its own items. But they've been really awesome, actually. I don't give the Alchemist mod enough love. I feel like all I ever do is insult them. When I actually love the mod, I think it's great. And I really like these charms. These charms are awesome. They essentially make making potions even easier. So combining this with the station up there, really good. And then we got our regular stuff. So we got Demonite, we got Gold, we got Corruption Seeds and Victory Shards. So really fantastic stuff. That was actually a really good fight. I enjoyed that. If I was to swap something out, what would I swap out? I like having a double dash, but I think if I'm not using it all the time, I can kind of do without it in the sense of like, I'm not, no, like, if I haven't had it in a while, 
I don't, you know, yearn to just double dash everywhere. Because I'm kind of liking the accessories that we have at the minute, though. But that might all change. I, I don't know. Alright, so I went up and I tested out the blue mushroom biome. It's actually got, like, low gravity up there, so I can't use that for the fight, so I am going to go underground. But I did get all of the mushrooms I actually need to make myself a Despacito Sprout, so I'm pretty pumped about that. Once again, apologies for all the jump cuts. Um, it's just because I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. And, uh, and what I like to do is, when I feel under the weather, I get, like, a blocked nose and that. So I'll record for a little bit wait for it to like kind of die down a little bit then i record and then you know it's, it's it's a thing on repeat i do so let's go and get that other mushroom biome there's one that's a little bit small but i do feel like i can build it out i have got a lot of bombs and i'm pretty certain it's down below underneath this desert biome so I, uh, I was speaking yesterday about uh, an Assassin's Creed video I want to work on. I didn't get it done for today. I didn't realize how massive I actually wanted to make it. But I am working on it, and I think I might release it on this channel instead. I don't know yet. Um, but I've been like playing through the game again just to like make sure I've got all my footage and that everything I want to write about is perfect. But I've been enjoying it, and it was kind of nice to see what uh, your favorite Assassin's Creed games are. A lot of people mentioning Black Flag. A lot of people mentioning... Uh, well, I saw one guy that said uh, Unity was his favorite. I don't know many people that say Unity is their favorite. I completely understand. Uh, Unity definitely wasn't my favorite. I'll tell you why, though. It's because they switched up the parkour. I didn't really like the parkour in Unity because I was so used to the old style. And I feel like you become a little bit more like... Um, I don't know, it gets, it gets like harder and harder to uh, adapt to change in a game series the more you've played. So, I played Assassin's Creed 1, 2, uh, Brotherhood Revelations, Assassin's Creed 3, uh, and then Black Flag. And then all of this was before they changed the parkour, and they made it like extra floaty and stuff. So, that's why I'm not used to it. But uh, I completely respect your opinion, my friend. Right, this area needs to be like, I don't know, I feel like this is like a bad place to be. How much dynamite? I've got five dynamite. Wow, we okay. So let's think of where we should. I think this is the first area I've got to get rid of. I think I've just got to get this whole chunk of mud out the way. Yeah, I I feel like this has to go. Let's let's just clear it all out. Let's get rid of the let's get rid of the whole thing. It's kind of nice because obviously the because we have that little planetoid, that's where I can just rely on maybe getting a truffle worm in the future and stuff like that. I don't really have to worry about coming back to these biomes. I'm only wor I'm only worried now in case I completely screw up this biome. But I don't think I'm gonna. I think it should be fine. Right. I've got to rely on my slimy boys to get this worm. Let's see how they do. I wonder if it'll be a normal worm or a, um, a desert worm. Because we're so close to the desert biome. I'm hoping it's just a normal worm and it can take it out. Right. Let's build this out a little bit. I tell you what. I always have a problem with this fight. And the problem always ends up being that it just leaves halfway through the fight. So I'm really hoping it doesn't do that. <laughs> because that's always super annoying. But I think this is pretty much a decent sized area. I'm pretty pumped about this. Right, okay. Well, I guess here goes nothing. This is revenge mode at the end of the day. I could deal with, uh, I could do having more, um, more anger. Or more rage, sorry. But uh, I think I'll be fine. Right, let me light this up because I learned from my mistakes with the Eye of Cthulhu. The Eye of Cthulhu fight was so dark, I already started editing the episode. I was like, wow, that really is dark. Okay. Buff up. Begin. Oh, okay. So it's different. How are you doing, Krabby Lon? Are you all right? You look different. You look nice. I like Krabby Lon. Krabby Lon's a, a pretty fun fight, I'm not going to lie. I don't know exactly uh, at what point it gets harder, because I know it does get harder. It starts doing these uh, big giant bursts of, uh, of mushrooms. Okay. I think that's where the big bursts begin. Alright, I'm going to try using my throwing weapon for a little bit. Once again, I don't know which one's better. This will be one of these things where you guys will point it out to me in the comments down below, and I'll appreciate it. Ooh. Make sure you avoid that. It's actually not so bad so far. I feel like I wasn't expecting that attack where it does the um, the dropping mushrooms. But I feel like I'm a little bit more used to it now. Okay, so I've got to be really careful here. All right, activate that rage. You've got to be careful that you don't take damage when you've got rage enabled. Because otherwise you don't get the full effect. Okay. That was probably good enough. 
we might actually probably build up another bit of rage, depending on how many uh, little hearts that we get from some of these mushrooms. Okay, going good so far. I feel like I should be setting it on fire. Yeah, looking at that, I feel like my throwing weapon is definitely stronger. Yeah, it definitely is. I don't think there's any denying it now. I'm sorry. I said looking at that, and I didn't explain where I was looking at. I was looking at the uh, boss health bar at the bottom. All right, my health is getting low. I could kind of do with uh, killing some of these health. Maybe not. All right, it's coming up to the end anyway. All right, Krabulon, time to meet your maker. There we go. <laughs> See you later, Krabulon. I'm so glad I did that because I, I felt like uh, there was one point where I was like, this is it. I'm not going to do it. Ha, ah, there we go. Right, let's open up this bad boy. Right. We got a mushroom plasma root. Permanently makes rage mode do 20% more damage. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Fleeting fungal clump. That's what I love. That's what I like to see. There's the fungal clump. And you look different. Fungal clump, you look nice. Look at you, fungal clump, moving on up in the world. So I feel like we've got a pretty rockin' summoner setup. We've got two summons. So if we get the Queen B1, which we'll probably get at some point, that's going to be Ace. And we also have the Fungal Clump, which is great. I love the Fungal Clump. Right. Well, that's about it. I kind of, uh, I expected it to be a little bit more difficult. Once again, I'm used to the scaling of death mode. But then again, I'm kind of not at the same time. So that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a big fat thumbs up on the video. It goes a long way, and I always really appreciate it. Um, it was so cool reading through my comments yesterday. I know a lot of you were there when we were talking about the new Terraria spoiler, that new music track. If you haven't already seen that, it's available on Chippy Gaming. But uh, that was that was good. I liked I liked that. Right. Have a great day, everyone. Peace.